felt great, man. Just to be back with the guys. Uh, obviously, we didn't get the the result that we wanted, but it felt felt good to be back out there, um, just playing and flying around. Really. Hey, Q, uh, this team is so close. You know, your record is not indicative of mm-hmm. how good this team can be. What can be done to get it back? We have the pieces. Uh, my biggest thing, like I that I've seen from you know this whole situation, is that we start fast. We start fast and then finish slow, and then today we started slow, finish fast. So um, the biggest thing, we could just put that together um, as one unit, offense, defense, special teams. I mean, it, it's crazy how good we can be. Like, we have the, the talent, we have the players. Like, it's just scary how good we could be when we gel it all together. And I, I think um, for this bye week, I think that's our biggest our biggest uh, obstacle, um, biggest challenge, I'd say. Uh, for us going to the we just putting it all together, just being sticking together, being a brotherhood that we talk about all the time, and, and just riding it out and, and just continuing to fight for these last four games. When you approach this bye week, um, after having three tough games, mm-hmm. do you try to uh, unplug from those games? And, and, and like, how do, what's what's I guess what's the mindset going into this bye, after this bye week at this point? Just you know finding the things that we struggled throughout these last you know three games and. Just figure out a way how we can fix it and just continue, like I said, continue to fight. Uh, at the end of the day, if we do that and we just execute it and just do our job and just continue to fight, stand together, I think that will be uh, the biggest thing for us. But just going back and seeing our mistakes that we made, the things that they might, you know, try to throw at us uh, next game and just, just trying to just put it all together for us. So um, that's, you know, the, kind of the biggest thing I say, just going into the bye week, just just putting it all together because we have the team. Like I said, we have the team, we have the talent. It's just done it all together. And after um, Tulane got that, that hot start defensively, I mean, you guys held them to a lot of three and a mm-hmm. kind of um, stunted their offensive growth. How important was that for you guys to not get down after that start to give you yeah. the chance you had? Yeah, play? so it just, like I said, on the sideline, I was just – just continue to fight. Like, just keep chopping wood. Just, all we needed was one stop. That was my whole message, just one stop. Just one possession, just one stop. That's it. That's all we needed because we knew, you know, the offense wasn't, you know, going. They weren't starting fast like we wanted. But if if they don't score, they don't win. So we just wanted to get one stop each series. Just get one stop. That's all. That was the message on the sideline. I know this game is, you know, I know you guys are out there trying hard, doing what you need to do. but. You guys just want able to get a turnover, yeah. get a, a change of possession yeah. the way you want, you know. But you guys still were able to do the things to keep it within race. How do you keep your composure even though you're not doing as good as you wanted to do? Yeah, you get, you get anxious that time because, you know, they had – did they have a couple turnovers? Did they have – did they have mm-hmm. some? Like, uh, you guys over? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, like, just, just things like that. Um we want to try to, to match that or even try to get more. Like the turnover they had, they had two. We want three. We want four. So uh, it's, it, it gets anxious at times, but um, if we just do our job, I know they're going to come to us. We just take the opportunities that come to us for sure. So um, just things like that, we get, you know, you can get a little anxious when you don't get the turnovers you want. But as long as you're doing our job, the turnovers will come. How close have you been 100% healthy? Oh, I'm 100. I'm, I'm 100. I'm 100. Looking at, um, I mean, you've been here for a while. You've been in a lot of close games. You guys have won some. You guys have lost some. Uh, what goes into getting over that hump and winning close games when you've had so many of them? I think that's a that's a that's a great question. I think that um, just the the preparation, you know, that goes in goes into it because, like you said, we we had a lot of close games this year. Um, just the finishing aspect of it, you know. Just trying to finish stronger, I think, w- was the biggest uh, takeaway. Just trying to finish strong, because I know Houston and, and ECU, those were t- two for short wins. We just had to finish. That's it. Like I just feel like if we f- we finish, we'll be fine. But uh, just being consistent, I think, as well, to be consistent on, on all sides of the ball is, a, is another thing for us. So that's, that's really the, the, the biggest thing. When you had games, like you said, against Houston, mm-hmm. Finishing, you know, was the issue. Well, here you guys finished pretty strongly. Yeah. You know, you didn't start well. 
what goes into the mentality of, of, of being able to do both well in one game? Just like I was just taking this bye week and just just reset. You know, sometimes you gotta reset. Ain't gonna ain't going that way. We just gotta reset. We know what we needed to do. We know what we had to do to get that accomplished. So we just gotta reset. Just take our time, reset, and, and come back with the mentality that we're gonna run these, these, these this table with these four wins, and we'll go to bowl game. And whatever happens, happens after that. But the biggest thing is just just reset. You just gotta reset, calm down. Like don't we ain't we in some adversity right now, but you know we don't want to take that and feel like we out the count because we never out the count. We just reset and we'll be fine.